Good evening and welcome to the news. I'm joined by Madhav Gopal Krishnan. The first story that we'll be discussing on the show: the apex court today refusing to stay an Allahabad High Court order which allowed a survey of the Shahi Eidga complex adjacent to the Krishna Janmabhoomi Temple in Mathura. The Masjid Committee had challenged this particular. order of the high court which had sought a survey by a three member team of advocate commissioners the lahabad high court yesterday had said that the modalities of the survey and the appointment of these commissioners are to take place on the 18th of december the petition was filed by bhagwan shri krishna virajman and others claiming that lord krishna's birthplace lies beneath the mosque and only a scientific survey can confirm this while the hindu side has welcomed the supreme court order the muslim side says that a survey can't prove anything listen in so the honorable the, the shahid ga masjid had challenged this order before the honorable supreme court and supreme court has refused on december 18th uh, the ilabad high court will fix the modalities as to who all is going to uh, be in the survey what will be the timing of the survey and what will be uh, the members who will be going in the survey commission all these things will be decided by the ilabad high court on 18th of december ये बात साबित हो गई कि जहां आज मंदिर बन रहा है ये राम जन्म स्थान नहीं है ये बाबरी मस्जिद है किसी मंदिर को तोड़ करके यहाँ मस्जिद नहीं बनाएगी हमारे दिल में तो है ना सर्वे से क्या होता है सर्वे तो बाबरी मस्जिद का भी हो चुका है सर्वे ही ने तो ये बताया था कि ये मस्जिद मस्जिद है ये मंदिर तोड़ करके मस्जिद नहीं बनाई गई है हम इस फैसले को सही नहीं समझते यानी कानून की बुनियाद पर सही नहीं है इसलिए क्या कानून जब ये कह दिया कोर्ट ने कि मस्जिद अपनी जगह बनी हुई है तो फिर मस्जिद को मंदिर को देने का ये कोई फैसला सही नहीं हो सकता and even as the survey is yet to begin the opposition parties have started to fear monger and give it a political spin calling it an attempt to instigate communal sentiments na ye aitihasik faisla hai hum is faisle se sehmat nahi do badi abadiyon ke beech mein tension paida karne ki koshish ki ja rahi hai darare paida karne ki koshish ki ja rahi hai now ram janmabhoomi is uh, nearing completion they lost that agenda now they want to create more and more agenda other sang parivar outfits will take up this issue and they will create problems this is what is going to happen main to seedhe manta hu ki is desh ki sansad ne ek act pass kiya tha 91 mein places of worship act pata nahi judiciary kya kar rahi hai us act ka koi matlab reh gaya kya ki kabhi babri masjid hai to kabhi banaras ki gyan vapi hai to mathura ki masjid hai भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार में क्या कोई दूसरा काम बाकी नहीं रह गया है जबकि पार्लियामेंट ये कानून बना चुका है कि 1947 के अंदर जो मस्जिद है वो मस्जिद रहेगी जो मंदिर है वो मंदिर रहेगा Mean while the Hindu side has argued that several Hindu religious symbols and engravings are visible inside the mosque premises including a lotus shaped pillar which is characteristic of Hindu temples and an image of Sheshnag one of the Hindu deities the Muslim side also had opposed the contentions citing the places of worship act but let's remind you that the Mathura court in May 2022 had said that the 1968 compromise decree by the Krishna Janmasthan Seva Sangh was drawn before the place of worship act in 1991 therefore the act shall not apply to this dispute we will still have to wait how the further proceedings can pan out and let us now open this up for debate you're watching the news hour at 10 debate number 1 on times now super prime time Let's go across to our guest joining us, Sanju Verma, National Spokesperson of the BJP, is with us. With us also is Hari Shankar Jain, Petitioner's lawyer. With us is Sri Raj Nair, National Spokesperson of the VHP. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary is a political analyst joining us. Abdul Razak Khan is a member of the Work Board and political analyst with us. Vivek Shivastav is also a political analyst joining us on the broadcast. Let me start with you first, Abdul Razak Khan. The question that many would be asking at this point of time is that, uh, you know, why oppose a survey, the modalities of which have not even come out from the High Court yet? Madhav, when the matter is listed in the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court is about to hear the matter on January 9, what is the urgency by the Allahabad High Court that this should be done before uh, 9 January itself? Why is it in? Uh, why is the court in a hurry? Now I'm asking. This looks like you know a carefully orchestrated attempt by the BJP to make this an agenda for 2024. The only reason Mr. being Khan, the BJP has not got anything to present to the people of this nation. Will this 
Sir, you can, you can, I mean, you don't have to agree with everything the court does. That's your right as a citizen. But, you know, you're questioning the court's wisdom. And to, by doing that today, you're even questioning the Supreme Court's wisdom, which says there is nothing wrong. They've allowed the survey to go ahead. I mean, both courts can't be wrong, can they? Sir, on... Sir, on November 9th itself, there were slogans and captions saying, Ayodhya to abhi hai, uske baad wo kuch janki hai, baaki hai, kashi, mathura. All this we have heard. We have heard all this. So it is going in the same tune, same truth. Come on, four Supreme Court judges did come out against the Chief Justice. 2020, we have seen all this happening. Let me get I am saying this with yeah. confidence that this is a BJP plan. This is an orchestrated attempt to make this agenda 2024. Now will the BJP come out to the people and say, Achche din aayenge? Das saal ho gai, achche din aagay? Kiske achche din aay? Modi ji ke to bhoat achche din aagay. But desh ki janta ke to achche din nahi aay. So this is agenda 2024. Ram Mandir to inaugurate ho chuka ho ga. Ab ye bole ke kaashi mahi ra baati hai. I really don't know. I really don't know if you can directly attribute a court proceeding to a political process and an election, Mr. Abdul Raza Khan. But let me bring in Mr. Harishankar Jain. Mr. Harishankar Jain, there are several legal infirmities in the eyes of uh, Mr. Abdul Raza Khan. He is even equating this with elections that are to take place in 2024. And he is asking why is the court in a hurry to order a survey? What would you like to say to him, Mr. Jain? Yeah, it is unfortunate that Mr. Raza Khan is indirectly making a person on the High Court. Even though nothing has been decided on merits. Nothing. He has been heard fully. He, he came to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court heard the matter and said that the, whatever the order is passed, you may finally challenge the Supreme Court. There is no, there is no uh, check on them to challenge. But even then, they are uh, indirectly as per in, uh, causing a person on the judge indirectly on the high court, it is very unfortunate. Number two, <laughs> if survey <laughs> takes place, Madrid suppose survey takes place, why should they allow a team of advocates entertain the plea? Uh, please, 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 please keep quiet. When I speak, keep quiet. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm yeah. not you. Yeah, Mr. Khan, I'm I think it's unfair. Person. No one, no one troubled uh, you. Please let him have a say. He's a, he's a much older person, at least respect out of age for the person. No, you may not agree with him. Yeah, please let him have a say. Are you ever going to disagree? I'm going to give my point. Yeah, my go ahead. Point. Go ahead, Mr. Jain. Suppose yeah. it takes place. Kindly, kindly consider, kindly consider what harm would be caused. It is nothing, no digging, no other method will be adopted. Only photography and videography. Mm. But the thing is that you know the truth will come out. Mm. Because our contention is that this structure was raised after demolishing Hindu temple. Okay. And everything will come on the fore. Public will know the truth. And you want to hide all of them. Mm. Number two, you are eager, even there is a threat that you can remove. Mm. Number of artifacts which is your power and position. Mm. So there is urgency mm. that it should take place immediately. Mm. Number three, CPC permits that uh, for every purpose, Order 26, Rule 9 and mm. 10 mm. of CPC is very clear. Mm. That is discretion of the court. Court can appoint a commission to have the photograph, videograph, or what is the Proper state of the property in question. Okay. To know the better things. Mm. Number four, you say place of first impact, place of first impact. It is like a mantra, you are reciting it. Mm. <laughs> place of first impact, nothing. Okay. <clears throat> you okay. have not read. You have not read. It says the religious, uh -huh. the religious character of the property shall be maintained. Mm. The court has to determine mm. what is the religious character. Yes. If, mm. if I am able to prove no, no, that no, it no, is a temple, you are wrong here. Yeah. And after demolishing You're a temple, here. you have raised <laughs> conception. Sir, okay. 
सुप्रीम कोर्ट से इन अयोध्या केस फाइव जजमेंट इज वेलकम या या सर आई वांट टू कम वन बाय वन आई एम गोइंग टू कम टू प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट आल्सो या मिस्टर जैन टू द प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप या या वन सेकंड वन सेकंड वन सेकंड वाइज मिस्टर खान जस्ट वन सेकंड मिस्टर जैन आई एम गोइंग टू कम टू ऑल दोस पॉइंट्स देयर आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लीगल पॉइंट्स दैट यू आर रेजिंग बट आई वांट टू गो बाय देम वन बाय वन अलाउ मी अलाउ मी आई एम अलाउ मी अ लिटिल टाइम टू कम वन बाय वन लेट मी ब्रिंग इन इन फैक्ट्स ऑफ द अदर पैनलिस्ट एज़ वेल कमरू जवान चौधरी आई वुड लाइक यू टू टेक दैट सेकंड पॉइंट दैट ही वाज रेज Yeah, Mr. Jain says that there is a fear that if there is a survey, the truth may come out, and that may be unpalatable to a section, and that is why there are these attempts to scuttle the process. No, Your no, response no, to that, no, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. The truth. Abdul Razak can speak. Out, please don't speak out of turn, please. I've told you this I once. I want Kamru Zaman Chaudhary to come in now. Yeah. What kind of a debate is this? Mm. Yeah, Madha. Let me just remind you what the Supreme Court said in the judgment of the Ayodhya. बाबरी मस्जिद केस द जजमेंट क्लियरली स्टेट्स इन वन फैक्ट दैट देयर माइट नॉट बी एनी हिस्टोरिकल एविडेंस दैट राम वाज एक्चुअली बॉन्ड बिनीथ द मॉस्क द साइट ऑफ द राम बॉन्ड वाज नॉट एग्जैक्टली मे नॉट बी देयर बट फेथ एंड आस्था सेज दैट राम वाज बॉर्न इन अयोध्या एंड मे बी ऑन दैट स्पॉट पर्टिकुलरली i am not quoting you verbatim the supreme court judgment out here but the essence of the reading was in that way so now you have got a curious case of mathura no, and the uh, mathura uh, sri krishna janmabhoomi and the idga masjid out here hmm. now let me tell you another fact out here some tyrant of by the name of aurangzeb came to india looted plundered destroyed a number of things in india there is no denying the fact from the history that is accepted fact now tell me one thing after 1947 have we not adopted a new constitution given to us by baba uh, uh, ambedkar now as an indian of 2023 i have a right to know what happened way back in 2000 in uh, 1900 something or 1800 or 1700 centuries but do i have a right as an indian to follow the indian constitution constitution to change the nature and character of that dispute no. i believe every one of us will agree no yeah then what is the solution what, out here so that's we for the court we fall back on the on the courts yes now wait let me finish let me finish as a congressman i have my full faith in the courts of this country mm. now what happens is here there is a majoritarian play coming into effect what happened with the gyanwapi masjid issue suddenly the commissioner came out running of the survey and said uh, baba mil gaye baba mil gaye i am not quoting or misquoting anybody that was baba mil gaye who was that baba a perpetually the muslim side said this is a fountain and according to the hindu side this was no, a that is a question for the courts to decide there that the is dispute has been no no created. but that's you know kamal zaman chaudhary why are we why are we putting the cart no, before the horse come. no no come. why are we putting the cart before the horse We all know what has happened over there. No, no, the no, question no, that no. many are asking is: Let the courts do their no. job. If they feel there's no merit, they'll throw out the petitions. And I want to bring in Sanju Verma on that because you no. made a point. You made a relevant point that no, in a constitutional let, democracy, purpose, let's go purpose? with the courts. One second, one second. Let, let's go one by one. Sanju Verma, the simple point being made over no, by Kamru Zawan Chaudhary, if I understood him rightly, is that he is saying that there were seconds. there were tyrants. There were tyrants at that point of time. You can respond to her. There were tyrants at that point of time. And post 47, we have a constitution in place. Can we, in today's day and age, apply what has happened several hundred, several centuries ago to to and conflate it with today's position? Please respond to him, Sanju Verma. Mother, first and foremost, it's 18 minutes into the debate. I have not heckled anyone, and I'm sure the courtesy will be extended to me. First and foremost, let's be very clear. You know, forward. somebody said here that this is with an eye on 2024. Excuse me. history says aurangzeb demolished a temple and built the mosque on this particular site the disputed krishna janmabhoomi site which means that this is a festering problem for the last 353 years hindus have been tolerant and patient for 353 long years the earliest petition in this case was in 1964 and repeatedly be the allahabad high court or the supreme court dismiss petitions 1964 which means even in present day and age this is a 59 year old problem but suddenly now that in 2023 the allahabad high court's verdict 
of having a survey done of the Shahi Idga Mosque has not been stayed by the Supreme Court. Look at how the entire cabal is rattled. Today, the judgment of the Allahabad High Court has come into question. The bona fides of the Supreme Court are being questioned. The integrity and the uh, you know character of the Supreme Court that has been put in the dockyard. So it can't be my way or the highway. And I say this to uh, the Muslim community. There are many progressive Muslims. You know, you can't start playing this victimhood narrative each time the courts rule against you. Mm. But the most important point is this, without beating around the bush. Everybody says that this Krishna Janmabhumi Shahi Idga Mosque issue was sorted out on the 12th of October 1968 because both the Hindu and the Muslim side the warring factions came together and the Hindus conceded that aage se is mamle par wo nahi karenge and the land that supposedly belonged to them, they abdicated the ownership on that. Now here is the catch. I always say, mother, the devil is in the detail. On the 12th of October 1968, the two warring factions, the Shahi Idga Mosque Committee was on one side, and on the other side, from the Hindu side, the Krishna Janmabhumi Seva Sangh, they signed the agreement with Shahi Idga Mosque Committee. But the catch is this, that the Krishna Janmabhumi Seva Sangh does not own the rights to the Krishna no, no, Janmabhumi no, Temple. No, 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 that right is owned by the Krishna no, Janmabhumi no, 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 Trust. 1951, the Sangh... Unless the agreement was signed by the Krishna Janmabhumi Trust, don't the agreement the itself was not valid. Mother, this is not fair. You don't yeah. allow me to heckle anyone. This yeah, is yeah, fair. definitely. Make your point. point. Yeah. Mr. Kapoor Zaman Chaudhary, let her make a point. You can respond to her. Nobody is shutting you down. You can respond to her. Let her make a point. Yeah, complete your point quickly, sir. Sanju Varma. It is like saying, Madhav and Sanju Varma have entered into an agreement. Madhav represents the Muslim. Sanju Varma represents the Hindu side on the Krishna Janmabhumi dispute. But the catch here is that Sanju has not been authenticated on behalf of Hindus to have a negotiation with Madhav. That negotiation should have been done by the Krishna Janmabhumi Trust, which is... How can you allow... Okay, is, okay, that's a fair point. Okay, that's a point that many have made. Which is managed by, say, Mr. Hari... I got your Jai. point. No, no, Sanju Varma, I've got your point, and this point has been made in the courts as well. Let me get in. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary wants to counter you on this very point, I understand. Mr. Chaudhary. Your counter to that, the trust which made that agreement in 60. I have two questions. Yeah. What if that organization was A, not authorized to do so, as is the claim of several of the petitioners, and B, does that agreement not change the character of that location, and therefore the 47 rules don't apply if something happens in 64 is also a contention that several have made? Two questions. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Madhav, that, that my premise is that this entire dispute is being decided in the Allahabad High Court and the Mathura courts, they are deciding whether the agreement is a valid one or not. Now here you have got the 12 year rule, which says whether your property is in adverse possession of a person, then it will be deemed as, as the ownership of that property. Now the Hindu side has failed to show the ownership document of the mosque. The premise of the Hindu side is that, that Sri Krishna was born in Mathura, that's the... Uh, that's, a, uh, that's what the Hindu uh, books say. That's a fact. But do you have any proof that the, that the Sri Krishna was born exactly at the same spot this. where mm. the Shahi Idga is standing? Same dispute has been this. created there are, as there are in the case of the Ram Mandir many, issue. Many now have referred to, many have to, many have referred to the, the Hindu symbols. The only thing out here is that... Yeah. Yeah, the Hindu symbols there. There are Hindu symbols there that many have seen the, and have spoken Hindu about. Symbol, Mother, can I take 30 seconds to answer what Kamru has asked? Okay, go ahead. Mother, you can, you. you can, you okay, can, I you can you. say, now, even in the Ram Mandir case also, plenty of lot of symbols were found. But then this was a civilizational so, change. So, 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 that's, so this is what has to be, no, but Mr. Chaudhary, Mr. Chaudhary, Mr. Chaudhary, Mr. Chaudhary, Mr. Chaudhary this is what the has to be probed. Despite the 1991 act in force. Okay, so this is what has to be probed. Many are saying, many are saying, let's no, look at no, that, let's get the facts. something which is... Let's get the facts in I order. Know, Let's I get the facts in this. order is what they are saying. I'm going to allow Sanju Verma a chance to rebut what you're saying. And then I'm going to come back to you. Yeah, Sanju Verma. Thank you, Madhav. Madhav, so one point number one, Ram Janma Bhum, Krishna, pardon me, Krishna Janma Bhumi Trust, that was never party to the agreement signed on 12th October 1968. 
1968, since Krishna Janma Bhumi Trust was not a party to the agreement mm -hmm. signed on 12th October 1968, that agreement is invalid. The second point, which Kamru asked, what is the proof? Besides, like Madhu mentioned, you know, uh, goddess uh, Ganga, unki, unka jo vahan hai, that is crocodile. Goddess Yamuna, unka jo vahan hai, turtle. You know, various symbols, swastika, mm -hmm. trishul, ye sab mm -hmm. paaye gaye hai, but forget that. There were archaeological surveys conducted by the ASI Archaeological Survey of India in 1971. There was another survey conducted in 1974-75. There was a third survey conducted in 1991, and a fourth survey conducted in 2010. And all these surveys said that the earliest temple on the Krishna Janmabhoomi site was built. You know when? It was built on the sixth century AD, and then. Mosque was built after desecrating and demolishing that tem temple way back in 12th century AD, and then again Aurangzeb came in and built a mosque in 1670, demolishing the existing temple. So mm. there is a history dating back to 6th century AD. Repeatedly, mm. the temple on that disputed site okay. was demolished, desecrated. You have no business lecturing. Okay. Because this matter has been solved. Let me. Uh, we, 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 are, we, we are running out of time, so quickly, I want to bring in Vivek Shivasa once again. Abdul Razak, I have seen your hand. Please allow others to also come in now very quickly. Vivek Shivasa, there are those like Mr. OAC who are calling this mischief for communalism. Yes. End of the day, if there is Is a legal and a judicial process underway? Right. See, is it fair to say that, Vivek Shivastha? Right, right. I'll be I'll be very clear. I already listened to Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, so I'm not going to repeat the technicalities of this case. It'll be repetitive. I'll add something else. See, first of all, the Places of Worship Act had a uh, spirit behind it. It said that the maintain the status quo. Masjid jitni hai, masjid rangi. Mandir jitne hai, mandir rangi. No conversion, no desecration, no breaking, no conversion. That was the spirit, and the spirit was because we are not living in the medieval times. We are not living in the ancient times. 1947, the country became independent. We have a constitution in place. You cannot keep on going back and quoting Aurangzeb and trying to run the country. Hindus ka struggle sare 300 saal se chal raha tha. Muslim ka struggle 200 saal se chal raha tha. This is not the way. 1947, everything is over. We are independent. We are no, new. We have a constitution. You have to follow it. Places of worship. The spirit. The spirit. The spirit Listen to me, please. Hindus please, please to the, the spirit of the places of worship of act was that do not Hindus try to to, to to dig out old Hindus graves right and spoil the okay. peace of the nation. Sixty-four thousand Buddhist temples right were destroyed by Pochamitra Kung, and, okay. and there are thousands of temples which have been built where so Buddhist temples existed. By Hindus. that logic. Yeah, Are, is the is the BJP pissed. spokesperson okay. going to promise me pissed. that okay. she is willing to get a survey done in all those areas okay. and, to, uh, and get to this Kupa? We have to bring in Sri Raj Nair. One second. Should we do it? Yeah. And should we go for it? This is not the time. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? And Mr. Modi wants to capitalize on it. Okay. Okay. That again. Again, we are getting back to the political charge. But let me let me come in. One second. One second. No. One second. Sri Raj Nair. Yeah. Well, let me bring in Sri Raj Nair. Sri Raj Nair. There is a contention, and this is the one that has been made before. This is what Vivek Shivastav is. Saying that there are several Buddhist temples that were made uh, into Hindu temples, and now if you start ordering surveys, you'll have to do that at a number of locations where there are such disputes or such legends or stories or whatever one chooses to call them. How do you respond to it, Sri Raj Nair? Well, Madhav, our nation is known for its fair uh, judicial process. A decision has been given by the Honorable Court. Let us respect that. And why are these people worried of? Let let today we live in an age where science has developed like anything. We are living in a scientific age, and let us let let us let let us wait for the survey to be ha to happen. Islamic invaders, like Mr. Kamru himself said, they have wiped out uh, wiped out so many native civilizations. No, 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 so they and Krishna Bhujan Bhumi, Ram Janm Bhumi, and and Kashi, they are the most revered places for the Hindu for the Hindus, no, no, which are, who are more than 120 crore on this planet. So why are they worried? Of? Let us respect the honourable courts. Let we cannot selectively respect the constitution and selectively no, 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 respect the courts. We cannot we challenge the wisdom of the honourable supreme court. This, this people is corrupted. Vivek, if the, if Vivek, the, when others were heckling you, I asked them to keep way, silent. Vivek, this is not fair. Let him make his point. Otherwise, they won't. Sir, they are not answering your question, Madhav. They have not answered your question. I'll get See, that. See, when I was, I was the last point. to come I'm on moving. this debate, and I, I was silent. Yes, Mr. Nair, go ahead. There has to be there has to be a basic courtesy. Go ahead, sir. Oh, no. Let us yeah. respect the courts, courts decision. Let us respect the courts. Let we are living in a scientific age. Oh, no. Are you? Let there have there be proper survey. 
and let why are they worried worried right now sir you are there is enough time i i, I am again repeating islamic invaders have wiped has wiped out so no, but you are not answering his question on either you could not do it here you are not answering his two questions on the place of worship act and what about other places of worship where there may be hindu temples built upon other religions that's his question Shiraz Nair. I want to answer the places of worship act related query. Yeah, sir. coming to you. Madam, right after does, Shiraz Nair. Does, 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 do you think the court does not know about the place? Does not. Does the court, Madam? Do you think the courts don't know the place of worship act? <laughs> you don't have an answer. I Then answer. let us respect. If today a survey has been ordered, let us stick to that. Okay. Sanju Varma. Why? Why are we beating? Why are we worried? Why are we okay. worried about? Okay. 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 Got you, Shriyas Nair. Sanju Varma wants to respond to Mr. Shivastav. Yes, Sanju Varma. Oh my God, this I can barely hear anything. This is the Mr. Shivastav. Mr. Shivastav, there is somebody wants to answer the question you have asked. Please allow the courtesy for that person to answer the question, Sanju Varma. When he was speaking, I remained silent. I remained silent. Okay, may I please answer the question? Yes. 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 Thank you. Okay, you know Vivek asked a very important uh, question, and I will just respond to him. Exactly, please listen to this very carefully. This the places of worship act prohibits the conversion of any place of worship from its original form and provides for the maintenance of the religious character of a place of worship as it existed on August fifteenth, nineteen forty-seven. However, this act also allows for the return of a place of worship that was converted into another place of worship. After 15th no, August 1947, to its original form, I'm reading out. It so basically, no, 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 on 15th no, 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 August, if a place was X, who comes with X, X cannot be converted into Y. You need to respond. One second, one second, Shivam. So Shivastav, just 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 like give up. One minute to respond to you. What is what is this impatience? What's up? No, no, I'm over. Madam, can you please moderate? Vivek is moderating. Mr. Nair, Mr. Nair, Mr. Nair, please. Mr. Nair, Mr. Nair, Mr. Nair, you have him on your show. Mr. Nair, Mr. Nair. That, please allow Sanju Varma. She is answering the question Can of Mr. Shivastav. Yes. Thank you. See, we were Shivastav is a disgrace. Can I please finish? What the Places of Worship Act 1991 basically says: If on the 15th of August 1947, man no a place ka character X tha, hmm. then after 15th August you cannot convert X into Y. But it also says that if before 15th August 1947. The character of the place was Y. Then you have the right to restore it back to Y, and that is exactly. Okay, no okay, that's say that. completely out of time. Okay, no, completely out of time. I'm sorry, we are completely out of time on this entire debate. We'll have to leave it there for the moment. We'll have to leave it there. I'd like to thank all our guests for joining us this evening, and that, with that, it's a wrap on debate number one on the news of this evening.